Hello guys and welcome to the Zero MD Show. Today we are going to discuss about doing a urethral smear in the third trimester of pregnancy. The urethra is a tube that connects the bladder or the container in our body that holds the urine to the urethral meatus or opening where the urine comes out. Now we have a test called the urethral smear and this is done when a patient has a discharge and the doctor would like to rule out highly pathogenic bacteria like those that causes STDs or sexually transmitted diseases. The procedure is easy. All you need is a sterile cotton applicator. You then use this applicator and swab the outside of the urethral opening. You don't need to put all of the tip of the cotton applicator. You just need to get a few samples of the urethral discharge. Then place the specimen on a glass slide. The pathologist will then examine the slide under a light microscope to identify specific bacterial or protozoal pathogens that may need a specific type of antibiotic. Now what makes today's show special is I requested that very same procedure on a patient of mine which is a 22 year old multigravida patient which means that she's pregnant and that she is in, a, in her third trimester of pregnancy. Interestingly, 8 out of 8 big laboratories in the city of Olongapo declined to entertain my request. Their number one reason is that urethral smear is only done on male patients. Well, apparently either they don't know that the procedure can be done on female patients or these medical technologists are unaware that female patients also have a urethra. Now this is a particular favorite of mine because the number two reason was said not by just one but two Philippine Obstetric and Gynecological Society certified consultants. They said that you cannot do a urethral smear because you might hit the bag of water. I know, it's sad, but they actually did say this to my patient who phoned me complaining that two doctors already told her about it. Now to the uninitiated, the bag of water is actually the amniotic sac that contains the fetus and all of the fluids that surround it. Now since the bag of water contains the baby, it is actually found in the uterus and is nowhere near the urethral opening. The number three reason is the clincher. They said to my patient that the urethral smear is not done on a pregnant patient in the third trimester of pregnancy. Now that third reason tells me that they might have mistaken my request for a urethral smear to that of a cervical vaginal or a pap smear which is relatively contraindicated in a patient who is on the third trimester of pregnancy. Now if you substitute cervical vaginal smear in place of the urethral smear on the number three reason you may find that this is relatively true but there is an exception. The cervical vaginal or pap smear can be done on a pregnant patient on her third trimester if you fulfill two conditions. One is that you must have a double setup in place. The patient may have a condition called placenta previa, especially if the patient have, has no ultrasound on the prenatal examinations. And she may bleed out because of this. So if you are to do a vaginal exam on the third trimester of pregnancy, you must be ready to do a C-section or a surgical birth 
which needs a separate or what we call a double setup. The second condition is that you must have a compelling reason to do such a risky maneuver. The threat of gonorrhea, chlamydia, syphilis or any other diseases that the mother can pass to the child during childbirth is one such compelling reason. My goal in my patient is to rule out sexually transmitted diseases or STDs prior to giving out antibiotics. Unfortunately, 100% of the laboratories in my city has already declined the procedure because either of automatic reasoning or current misconceptions about the procedure. Now my request is a black and white urethral smear. You can even do the same procedure on a 5-year-old child. Now my patient has already refused to follow up and has lost confidence in me. Apparently, she is a practicing nurse and she happens to believe in the reasoning that was given to him by all those eight institutions. Now I should still give you guys the benefit of the doubt. If you think I am wrong in my reasoning and you think that I might have missed the memo that the bag of water is connected to the urethra, you can write your comments or your woes on the comment section below. And if you think I may have a sound basis on requesting such a procedure like the urethral smear on my patient, or if you think that I have good reasoning, you might like to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below because I'll be uploading more of health and medicine videos every week here on YouTube. So be sure to be updated by clicking the subscribe button on youtube.com slash zero melia. Like me or bash me, you can do that on facebook.com slash zero melia. And if you might want to follow me on the Twitter sphere, you can do so by following my handler at zero md. And that's all the time we have for today. I'm Dr. Zero Melio. Thank you very much for watching and mabuhay.